Hey, it's Mother's Day 2018, and we decided to cook fish for mother on Mother's Day, but unfortunately, we don't have a grill, but we're gonna make one. So we're gonna start with this well-seasoned wheelbarrow here and see if we can fashion a grill out of this and see how this goes. Okay. All right, well, while John's uh, accurately leveling the uh, wheelbarrow or the uh, mobile grill, uh, we found some uh, wire mesh in the garage, and I think we'll try to use that to make the uh, grating. So, all right. Okay, we rolled out the uh, wire mesh because I think we're going to try to double it and see how that works to get some extra support. So, you get your fingers poked. Okay. Okay. Now, you hold that, and I'll get the. Uh, hold on, I'm going to pull down. Okay. I got the flattening mechanism here. That seems fairly good. Oh, you need to put that with your boots. <laughs> okay, and as you can see, we've uh, very carefully uh, jammed or formed the uh, wire mesh molded. into molded, molded more correctly into the uh, into the wheelbarrow. And we've got a special guest appearance by our friend. <laughs> Found these in the neighbor's yard. I don't know. You say buried electrical lines or something. I don't think he needs them though. No, I think it's fine. So. And we're going to use those for uh, kind of make some supports and uh, hook the uh, mesh from falling in, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we get. Okay. And John is precisely measuring and wrapping the wire. And Pierce is supervising very closely, <laughs> making sure that nothing goes wrong. That way we get to keep our insurance. All right, now we got the music going, so John's uh, done a good job. Uh, yep. Yeah, he's still got to work on his dancing, but his, yeah. enge his engineering's going okay. Yeah. Yep. All right, so John has got this uh, completely wired up and rigged up the support structures. It's well engineered, OSHA approved, uh, complete search structure. And uh, we had this epiphany that, in fact, actually the uh, support brackets on the wheelbarrow are made of, well, wood, which might or might not be flammable we don't know at this point so we're gonna uh, wheel that over to the other part of the work site and uh, soak that down and, and we're gonna we're gonna soak that wood in good we're gonna soak that wood in good all right precisely moistening the now what we're dealing with is a very very well aged wheelbarrow with some very porous wood so the water is soaking up like a sponge there's no way anything could go wrong it's not even Okay, now that we've got the uh, the uh, barbecue grill receptacle uh, properly moistened, fire uh, protected, fire protected, insured, uh, John's repositioned it and uh, very precisely leveled it, and so uh, I think that this should be fine and uh, everything looks okay. All right, on to the next step. And on the off chance we have any thermal excursion issue that I'm uh, putting together the uh, safety device here just to make sure everything goes okay. Now, as you can see, we now have our leveling hooks here. So we start, we just do a, a straight line bend right now over the barrel. There we go. It can't go lower, but it can go higher. Very good. Yes. What could go lower? No. Okay, it's approximately one hour before cooking time and we've uh, got our Kingsford match light high quality uh, charcoal briquettes and we've arranged them in a semi-pyramidal fashion in the uh, in the wheelbarrow here or our Jethro grill as we're now naming it we've uh, carefully set the uh, grill surface aside and uh, got them arranged in the in there and we'll Light those on fire. Oh, there we go. Come on. Apparently, our lighter from the uh, 99 cent stores. There we go. Let's see. Down there. Come on. Come on. Go. 
Go Kingsford, go. Oh, look at that. We got fire. Come on to this side. Alright. Well, there we go. Okay, so the fire apparently took, and uh, John is closely monitoring the uh, thermal combustion. And uh, yeah, it's it's on fire. All right, we've got a nice bed of white coals there. And you can see we've been uh, <clears throat> wetting down the uh, structural elements on our Jethro grill in the hopes that uh, we don't uh, get any combustion going but we're gonna go forth we're pretty much pot committed at this point John's carefully applying the fire retardant material all right so uh, down in the back here we found this very specialized um, coal spreading tool that yes. I'm gonna use to even out the bed of our coals and uh, we're having no problem getting plenty of heat off this bed of coals. Woo! That is, that is, that is, that is quite warm. Probably should have bought the longer, the longer pulling rod there. Okay, I think another 15 minutes or so we'll be ready to cook. Oh, all righty. Woo! All right, with a little bit of finger singeing, we, uh, we uh, re refitted our custom grill feature in. Um, I'm sure that being down there on those very hot coals, it's gonna sanitize it and season it and add flavor yes. to the fish. Um, we may need to bring it up a little bit, but we'll just see how it goes. We're gonna, we're gonna try cooking some potatoes here on it a little bit as our trial run. Get them oiled up. All right, we got the moment of truth here. We're gonna start with some uh, red potatoes, halved, a little uh, olive oil, parsley, salt, and pepper, and garlic. Got our grill set up. Let's just see how this goes. Oh, isn't that a beaut? Let the spuds roll Let on. the spuds roll. Let the good times roll. All right, we'll cook these for a few minutes and check back in with you. <laughs> All right, well, the potatoes are finishing here. John's doing a great job, looking really good, nice and golden brown. We've uh, strategically placed a piece of ice on the uh, on the rubber tire to uh, prevent it from melting. So hopefully that'll remediate any of the heat issues we've got going on. All right, so it uh, looks like the potatoes are pretty much done. We've got a nice consistency, so we're gonna take them off and put them in the uh, pan here together, tag team this effort. This might take a... Oh, listen to that clinking sound oh, as they man, drop in there. Man, you cannot buy golden deliciousness like this at the store. <laughs> and Spuds McKenzie would be proud. That's right. All right, now we're going to do salmon, right? Yep. On the cedar plank. Oh, man. <laughs> Tell me, we need the, we need the long one. Okay, so now we've got the uh, potatoes off, and we've got the cedar plank salmon going on, and we're gonna, a beautiful model there is gonna put some foil <laughs> over the salmon, keep the heat in, get that cedar plank nice, on there, it's nice, gonna be nice. nice and moist and all kinds of fishy deliciousness. Lightly scented just to bring some of that heat in around. Absolutely perfect. Okay, now, We've got the uh, cedar plank smoking, and it just smells all kinds of delicious. So I try not to peek here, but I think I think this is going to work out beautifully. All right, so uh, the uh, salmon came off. We're just keeping it warming in the oven. We've got some sashimi grade uh, tuna that we've been marinating for a couple hours, and we're gonna we're gonna just cook us up some delicious old tuna steaks here. Mmm. Oh, here it's sizzling. We're going to yeah. sear it. Look at that. Look at that. On our Jethro grill here. Oh, man. These 
sear going on these and then uh, cook them for about five or ten minutes. Sear those girls. Yeah, fish. Mm. It's a fish voodoo. <laughs> just, yeah, the fish dance. <laughs> All right, so it looks like this uh, tuna that we've got here on our Jeremiah grill is just perfect. Look at this. Light pink right in the middle. Got these beautiful fine mesh lines on it that reminds you of a screen door. So we're gonna take this off, take it in, and uh, celebrate Mother's Day. All right, so uh, we finished up our uh, death row Bodine grill, and of course we've got our fire suppression equipment handy. So now, time to say goodbye to our grill. Make sure uh, we keep every. <coughs> everybody safe and sound. Make sure that the coals are all out sufficiently uh, doused so we can go in and enjoy our beautiful potatoes and fish without worrying about any fires outside. All right, so we've Yay. had just a wonderful uh, cooking outside and we want to raise a Woo. toast to all our mothers here at the table. God bless them, thank you for everything. And let's just have a wonderful Mother's Day celebration yes. with our fish, yes. Yes. Oh, beautiful fish, roasted potatoes, beautiful mothers. What a great day.